Hi everyone, welcome to Art for this term. We're going to start off the term with doing cupcakes again. I know you did a great job with Mrs Weston last term when you started to do them and I thought it would be great to start again for this term and use your new box of pastels to do a wonderful piece of artwork. We're now going to have a look at the film which will show us how to do light and shading on your cupcakes. See what you think. Enjoy. Action. An American painter from California who worked in restaurants was inspired to paint cakes, gumball machines, pies, ice creams, candy, and hot dogs. We'll be using this four cupcakes as our inspiration. You're going to need large paper, oil pastels, and a pencil. That artist was Wayne Tebow. So first I want you to draw lines to make a place for where you want your cupcakes to be. And for my instruction, I would say put your cupcake lines right there in the middle of the paper. Next, draw two diagonal lines the way you see these orange lines right here. And then draw a small smile on the bottom of the cupcake. Next, on the top of those two lines where it's the widest, draw a big smile on top. This creates the cup for the cupcake. Now it's time for the fun part. Now you get to decorate your cupcake with, with cake and frosting and colors with your oil pastels. The reason we use oil pastels is because they are so, they have so much texture and so much color. You can get creative. There's all kinds of ways you can add sprinkles, you can do swirls, you can do just a plain color or even a small one. Uh, you can do cherries on tops and hearts and, and, and strawberries. I've even seen decorations on top where there's a little tree made out of cupcake put on top. It'll be fun to see what you make. You want to do the lines on the cupcake wrapper where they are diagonal to the lines that we just made and then the lines in the middle are straight down. So the next part of this lesson is something that uh, hasn't been made just yet but we'll keep an eye out for who will. Think over on the right, he's starting to work on a shadow. And that's something I want you to start working on. Uh, Way Wayne Tebow, he was very, very colorful. He did not use black very often. He used the colors for his shadows. And so if he wanted to do some shadows, he would use different colors. So as you do your shading, think colorful thoughts. Use dark purples and use blues and even light blues to do shading. Um, something I would recommend is to do your cupcake in a light color. So that way you can do your colorful shading. Do you like my team I put together here to make our, a bunch of cupcakes for you? I wanted to see what kinds of variety we got from this. Okay, so fill out your cupcake, put in the colors. Next, it's time you want to add your shading. Now, if you look over to the right, we are starting to work on some cupcakes again. But we're going to go a little more into more depth here for shading. And this is something that you might want to see. All right, so we're going to add the shadow. It's more of a, a semi-circular shape next to it. When you use oil pastels, don't press too light and don't press too hard. So make sure you add some good pressing onto it uh, to make it a nice, rich color. And then when you add your shadow to several colors and it's 
darkest closest to the cupcake. So I joined the fray here and I'm adding some shadows underneath the frosting where the frosting and the cupcake wrapper meet. And then I added some dark lines to one side of each of the cupcakes. And then to add some depth I started taking some kind of random colors. I put pink, bright pink on green. I put some bright orange and blue on the yellow. But that's what's going to create the depth and that's going to create where it looks real and fun and colorful, just like Wayne Tebow. By the way, Wayne Tebow is actually still alive. He was born in 1930 and he lives in California just Still painting and, and putting together some fun paintings still. Alright, one thing that one more thing I decided to add, along with lots of different colors with my shadows. I think I have like three different shadows, three different colors in these shadows. Then I actually added a gray to the very end of those shadows, and I think that's what really made it pop. But what I'm wanting to make sure I add is that darkness right next to the cupcake. Well, this was a fun and colorful project. How about you take some pictures of your project, send them to me. I would love to see them. Just email me at, at the email address below. There's also a couple of links for you to go check out more of Wayne Tebow's stuff, uh, artwork. And I thanks for joining me in my studio. Now everybody, go and have a go at doing your own. Have lots of fun. And don't forget to take a photo and send it to me and then I can see what you've been doing. Catch you soon. Bye.